Hello, dear friends. This is uh, Ewell Humphreys. I'm glad to be here today with you and for my study to speak a word to you from, from the Lord and bringing you a word from God's Word <coughs> found in the book of John. And I'm reading from the 16th chapter of John. <coughs> Just a short message may be a message for you, dear friend, that will help you today to know some truths of God for your life. Jesus uh, was was getting ready to go to the cross. He called his disciples together, and uh, he said to them, as, as uh, he, he came to this point, he said, Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should uh, come upon him, went forth to the people, knowing all things that would come upon him. He knew that Judas Iscariot was going to betray him. He was going into the Garden of Gethsemane. He knew all things. I'll tell you what, Jesus knows all things because he's God in the flesh. And he knows. He knows what you're facing right now. He knows and he understands and he cares. Over in the book of John, the sixth chapter, and uh, it says this, uh, As the Father has sent me, so have I sent you. And uh, so he, he knows and understands everything that's going on because down here in the 64th verse, he said, There are some of you, he said, that, le that uh, believe me. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed and who they believed not. You see, he knows the heart. And it's important to know that he knows the heart. And it's so important to actually know and understand that this is a word that God gives us. And he is our Lord. We need to see that he knows. The Bible says in Psalm 34th chapter, is that uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. You might be a, you might be facing a, a trial or trouble in your life, and I'm speaking to someone who has a problem out there that you can't seem to solve. I want you to know many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all, out of every one of them. He's going to deliver you, Christian. He's going to bring you forth. He's going to bring you through it. He's going to lead you in it. And he'll bring you to the place where you'll find victory in the Lord. And your strength is in your God. For he will deliver them. I praise God. The Bible says that Jesus submitted to the Father. He knew what was going to happen, but he submitted to the Father. And in the dark garden of Gethsemane, he prayed, Not my will, but yours be done. And we have to pray that prayer sometimes, Christian, often. Not what I want, Lord, what you want. I want the will of God for my life. The Bible says over in James, the fourth chapter, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Submit to God. Don't submit to the devil. Don't submit to worry. Don't submit to, to people that are harsh and hard against you. Submit to God. Re resist the devil. He'll flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he'll draw nigh to you. Submit to God. Be submissive. And God will come in and take over. Give your life to Him. Give your life to Him. I, <clears throat> I want to tell you this brief story about a man named Arthur Blessed. Arthur Blessed years ago was a young man that carried a, the cross, the actual wooden cross, and he carried it down the highways, just carried it down the highways all over this country, and trying his best to bring and to focus people's thoughts upon that cross and upon the fact that Jesus died for sinners. And as he was going along, his wife would meet him in the next town where they, where they would, uh, uh, at night, uh, spend the night there in, in that next town in a motel. And then he'd get up the next morning and he'd start out with his cross. And he carried it all around the country. I think it was in Arizona somewhere where he was carrying his cross and a group of motorcyclists came by. Now, a lot of motorcyclists are fine people, but this group happened to be part of the Hells Angels group. They were evil. They were harsh. They drove by and they stopped. And their leader walked back to where Arthur Blessed was walking with his cross. And he pulled out of his pocket a long knife about this big and pushed a button on it and the blade about that long flipped out. And he said, you are a nut. You are crazy walking along here carrying a cross. He said, I'm going to take you out of this life and take you out of your misery. He said, I'm going to carve you up good. Isn't that awful? And Arthur Blessed, see, I heard Arthur Blessed speak to a Bible conference years ago, and he told his story on the platform while he was talking. And he said it happened to him just a year before that he was called to speak. 
I just said he told the man, he said, all right, if you're going to kill me, you can kill me. Because you know, Jesus died for me, and I'm willing to die for him. He laid down the cross on the ground. I just said, Jesus died on that cross for me. I'm willing to lay here and die on this cross for him. But before, I, before you kill me, I want to say a word of prayer. And the guy grinned, and he said, all right, go ahead and pray. It's going to be your last prayer. And Arthur, Arthur Blessed said he just prayed. And he said, Oh God, you died for me upon the cross. I'm willing to die for you upon the cross. I'm willing to die for you. I pray for this man, dear God, that you'd have mercy upon him. That you'd have mercy upon him because he don't know what he's doing. In Jesus' name. And he heard something hit the gravel. And he looked and it was that long knife. And he looked up, and that man was standing there, and his right hand was shaking like this. And he turned around, and he said, Come on, let's get out of here. And they left on their motorcycles. Arthur Blessed told that story at the Bible conference. Praise God. If you submit to God, God is going to take care of you somehow, some way. Praise the Lord. A miracle happened that day on that road when a man was willing to die, submitted to God. And so we need to see the importance of it. Now, another thing we need to see is that we have the promise, not only do we need to submit to God, but Jesus died for our sins. And we need to be willing to give our lives and, uh, and, and help others to come to Christ and know Christ. The Bible says in the 15th chapter, of, of John. Jesus said, This is my commandment that you love one another as I've loved you. Greater love had no man than this that he laid down his life for his friend. Jesus laid down his life for you. He laid down his life for you. And here's what it says in First John 4 and, uh, and the 11th verse. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Hallelujah. Rescue the perishing friend. Care for the dying. Rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Tell them of Jesus the mighty to save. Down in the human heart, crushed by the tempter, feelings lie buried that grace can restore. Touched by a loving hand, lifted by kindness, cords that are broken will vibrate once more. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful, Jesus will save. God bless you, dear friend. In Jesus' name, amen.